poets and writers has accompanied me on my whole journey to becoming a poet and a writer. The idea of having any kind of life in letters felt a little like trying to fly to Jupiter in a spacecraft made entirely of whatever happens to be around the house. In the 1970s, my husband and two kids and I were a low-income family living in a town without a bookstore. I was writing, but I'd never met another writer. I took it for granted that all writers were aware of what poets and writers had to offer, because my mother was part of the organization from its earliest days. My subscription was one of my only connections to the larger world of writing and publishing. Reading the magazine made me feel less alone. I used to pour through the back pages of Poets and Writers magazine. The strangest question I ever received came from a woman who attended one of my readings. Did you write the book yourself? But it flashed through my mind that she'd taken one look at me and thought, this woman couldn't possibly write a novel. I imagine this occurred to me because I'd spent a good bit of time thinking the same thing. The world of writing would have been forever out of reach without poets and writers. And when I needed to find a literary agent, it was a poets and writers publication that taught me how to do it. Suddenly, I belonged to a literary community. And my name was listed in the back pages of poets and writers. I thought I died and gone to heaven. Even with a working writer in the family, I found great value in the magazine and great comfort, too, knowing that the organization is dedicated to encouraging writers like Hilma and me. For years, I kept a chart of contest deadlines culled from the magazine and felt a delicious cocktail of envy, exhilaration, and outrageous hope. Most writers can't afford expensive writing programs, as it was for me, Poets and Writers Magazine. Just their sole conduit to the literary world. It is a lifeline. Few things are more necessary to writers than opportunities and resources, advocacy and community, hope and bravery. Poets and Writers gave me, as a young writer, a crash course in the writing life, giving me access to the opportunities that changed my life. Poets and Writers was a crucial resource for me in terms of the otherwise mysterious process by which a story or novel gets, as it were, to Jupiter. It remains every bit as crucial to the new generation of the young and unpublished.